Good morning guys, welcome to Supercars of London and a freezing start. This time last week, I was not wearing a woolly hat. Even though I took a woolly hat to LA, I never needed it once. Today is day two of owning my 2015 BMW M3. Now as things happened a little spontaneously over the last 48 hours, I had to give Dub Customs a last minute call because even though there's not that much chrome on this car, there's still too much. So my car is going in for window tints, which is now done in-house at Dub Customs, and a D-chrome. Not only that, I am going to be picking up my AMG GTS. It is gonna be the return of the satin black chrome AMG. As I drive that into East London to the XL Center for the Ford Driving Skills for Life Day that is happening all weekend here in London. So yesterday, Tim Shmi 150 was there. Today, I am going to be attending. I'm taking the AMG GTS park it up. The event basically teaches you how to learn about oversteer and how to get yourself back in control of a car. It teaches you the importance of not using your mobile phone and modern day technology distractions that you may have in the car, whether that be from the driver's side or the passenger side. So I'm driving this car to Dub Customs in the morning, then driving into the Excel Center for the driving skills for life, then driving back to Dub Customs to pick up the BMW M3. And while I'm at it, there is one more return of. Today is the return of my GoPro. For the last few videos, the GoPro has been out of action because it fell off the wing of the Novitec Torado of Ferragini. So uh, if you can see there, the lens has been totally chipped, but it is still fully functioning. I just broke the uh, housing and cases. So I got a new suction cup and I got a new housing case. So the return of the GoPro Hero 5 is here. So I've done about 300 miles in the BMW M3, both on the motorway, on an airfield, and yesterday, because the M1 was so screwed heading back into London, the Google Maps took me down some really dodgy country roads. So I kind of learned the width of this car. I also learned some of its personalities and also some of its modern technologies, like heated seats, which is absolutely amazing. So I've snuck down to Dub Customs. I've now done about 400 secret miles in the BMW M3. We've parked up at Dub Customs and I've gone over the car that needs de-chroming and there's really not too much. I'm keeping the wheels diamond cut for now because I'm thinking I might go aftermarket. So at the moment, they're staying like that. I do want to eventually change the color of the brake calipers, but as you can see, there's not too much chrome. That is gonna go gloss black. And then round the front is also gonna go gloss black. From the outside, I'm looking forward to seeing what these guys produce with this car, and then eventually my number plate is gonna get changed. So this car is going in there, my AMG is coming out, and then I'm headed to London to the XL Center for the Ford Driving Skills for Life Day. Here it is, sitting lonely. But F1 Wax Stew has been working on this car whilst I've been away, and as you can see, the chrome is shining through. It looks so good underneath this light. And unfortunately, no picture is ever gonna do it justice. <laughs> that is just, we need to get this outside. Look at the, look at the aluminium look. I'm blown away by this wrap every time I see it. I can't wait to drive this and get it out in the sun. Sean is driving my M3. I just can't believe that both of those cars, that's my daily and that is just the spaceship. The black chrome satin AMG GTS returns to Supercars of London.
Oh my god, this is a ridiculous wrap. So in goes my M3, that's getting de-chromed, blacked out, and out comes the beast. The satin black chrome AMG GTS. in the sunlight oh my god I am blown away with how this car looks again Dub Customs and F1 wax have now come up with a different wax that goes over the two vinyls that are already on this car to make the car shine even more to give it that satin effect this car has got the matte clear film rather than the satin clear film from Avery meaning that it needs a little bit more shine to it, which is why in some videos it's looked like Matt Gray. Car's a little bit cold still, so I'm very wary that this could skit, skit out at any moment. But I'm now en route to London in a UFO. Oh, oh we have made it. I am here at the Excel Centre waiting for someone to tell me where to go. Um, oh, I haven't parked this well. <laughs> I have not parked this well at all. So here we go. I've made it to N11. This is the room in the Excel Centre where Ford Driving Skills for Life is, and they've got all sorts of uh, all sorts of activities going. We've got an ABS control over there. You can hear the tyre squeal. We have got the new Ford KA Pluses here. I've never seen these before, which actually look quite cool. They are on the distraction test, so they've got to make their way through the cones whilst trying to learn how to use the radio, turn it up, go on their phone, take selfies, and all of the modern distractions that you may get. And then over there, there's a Ford Mustang, so there's a big crowd around that. And then further on is the oversteer. So because I took part in this in November last year, in 2015, Ford invited me down when they've actually got a public day on. This is a full house, tire school going on all over the place. Uh, this is a full house, so they've got all sorts of groups jumping around all of the different stations, learning about different things. It's just a really, really cool event where you get to learn loads of things that you probably wouldn't learn on your driving test or even driving lessons. So I'm gonna go and try and uh, get the fastest kick in a football. 27.5 New ball <laughs> We've made it back to Dub Customs. I'm incredibly tired. The AMG has been a beast today. It's been very comfortable, very warm, and also very powerful. And um, I'm now at Dub Customs to collect the M3, which should be in the process of being dechromed. My M3 is in fantastic company with an awesome left-hand drive, beautiful spec. Ferrari and this is the first time that I've seen it. I haven't even gone around the front yet because um, I want to do it all on camera But you can see that the now tints kind of match. We've still gone for the OEM So light comes into the uh, front, but outside hopefully it'll be a little bit more tinted than before It was actually zero percent on those windows, but with the white seats as well. It will be quite light so on the back Double saying they're about 85% tints all the way around. This has been wrapped in gloss black, which does look very nice. All of the uh, bits that have been wrapped have been taken off the car, wrapped and then reapplied, which is why the rest of the car is still filthy from the 400 secret miles that I've already done in this car. And then here we go, round the front. Oh yes, 
that is so much more aggressive this is proper proper nuke spec now absolutely love it so the grills have come out and everything has been wrapped and i love it The morning after, Nuke version 2.0 is here. Funnily enough, I am actually headed to Dub Customs right now, so I'm gonna stop this video and start it again. I'm driving this car over. I'm gonna be swapping over with the AMG GTS, and this car is gonna be staying there for a few days. So you can kind of guess what's happening to the car. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for supporting, and subscribe if you haven't already, because I cannot wait for you guys to see this car when it comes back out of Dub Customs for the second time in less than a week. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Ah!